Hey everybody, welcome to my shop. Um, today I'm going to build a uh, jig for sharpening my spindle gouge. Um, I'm looking around on YouTube and seeing the different jigs and things that uh, people use to sharpen them with. <coughs> uh, I don't have, you know, a grinder with a grinding wheel on it. I don't, you know, I'm still pretty new to this, so I'm kind of making it up as I go. And uh, what I do have is a motor from a Harbor Freight uh, cement mixer and a uh, balance wheel from or flywheel from a treadmill motor and luckily it was the same uh, spindle size so I put those together built a little stand for it and uh, what I've been doing is taking some of this uh, double-sided tape uh, putting it around and putting sandpaper on it and I've been using uh, 300 grit and uh, listening to some some guys on some of the people on YouTube uh, they use a really coarse wheel like 60 80 something like that and they say the finer the grit the hotter it makes the tool and uh, I, it, it does make it pretty hot it um, gives it a pretty edge to it but it make, does make it hot and so I built this jig to to sharpen with and it's got a this piece slides in and out and I've got it marked here for the spindle gouge but this was that's how I was doing it um, have anything in there to hold it from spinning so I noticed sometimes when I would go to sharpen it 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 would move a little bit then I saw a video by Catnick and he used a um, a metal piece of pipe and a rod welded to it I don't have a welder or access to one at the moment so I went over to the local hardware store bought this little what is that half inch T an elbow so that way it fits in and this 5 8 style is it 5 8 it says it's 5 8 and that'll slide in like so. And laying around the shop, don't know where I got it from, but a small threaded knob. I'm going to drill a hole, put the knob in so that way I can tighten down, and hopefully that'll work. All right, the first thing I need to do is drill a hole in the center for my knob and I think I'm just going to drill a hole in the side and either run a screw or some kind of pin through it uh, I don't want to glue it together not just yet um, and then what I need to do is once I get the knob in here so that way I can secure the spindle gouge I need to put it all together and then figure out how long I need to cut the dowel to get the cut I want. Um, yeah, and then once I get that done, I will uh, move on to the next step, which would be putting the tape and then the sandpaper on, and then doing a doing a test grind.
I've got it together, and uh, I've got some 120 grit sandpaper on the wheel now, and uh, all that's left is to try it out. Takes a second to get up. Well, that's it for this one. Um, I really like how this one turned out over the other way I was doing it. Um, can't wait to actually test it out. It feels a lot sharper. It feels better than, uh, than what I've been using. And I can hold it because it's not so hot. I like that. Which means I can touch it up and then go right to the lathe instead of waiting so that way I don't burn the crap out of my finger. Um, but anyway, that's it for this week or for this video. I'll have my ornament video out in a, in a few days. Uh, probably Tuesday or Wednesday. I want to get it out before Thanksgiving. And uh, I guess that's it for this one. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, like, subscribe. Um, any comments just leave them in the leave them below and uh, y'all have a good day and happy holidays